So I'm addicted to a game called Genshin Impact, like very addicted. So I'm going to tell you my experience with the story mode of Genshin Impact. And I'm also going to add the brain cancer enduring stuff that happened along the story mode. I'm just going to be covering the main story mode so far, Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma. So let's dwell in the weird experiences of me with Genshin Impact. So the game starts off with these two people with like wings and they're flying in high in the sky with pillars in the background fighting this cube lady. So um, the two people that are fighting this cube lady was Ether and Lumine. I picked Ether because Ether cool. So, you know, Ether charges in at the cube lady and uh, the cube lady just bodies Ether and Ether kind of gets sucked in and spat out somewhere. I don't know where. Then uh, Ether wakes up and starts fishing out a child. And this child's name is Paimon. Yes, this little fairy thing. Yes, very, very annoying. Then when Paimon said one of her voice lines, she crashed my entire PC. It wouldn't work. And all she had to do was say, hi, my name is Paimon. And, uh, you know, my PC kind of broke. So I switched to the graphics card and, you know, the whole time it felt like I was playing on one FPS. So thanks, Paimon. Thank you for that. So I learned the basics of the combat system. You know, I, I climbed some cliffs and rocks and fought out of slime. Then all of a sudden, I saw a stinking dragon in the sky. I almost pooped myself. So me and Paimon started to follow this dragon in the woods. And once we kind of came across it, there was someone talking to the dragon. You know, I, I was pretty confused. Then the dragon yelled at me for stepping on a stick. Then that person that was talking to the dragon skedaddled out of there almost immediately. They turned into flies or something. Then the dragon left some like of its crystal red poop. It was kind of weird, gross. So I, I obviously picked it up and then just kind of left the woods. As we went out of the forest, there was like a magnificent castle just chilling there that was Mondstadt. then someone out of nowhere just approached us and they're like yo you want to help me take down some hilly trails and uh i was like yo that that sounds fun so i, I kind of did a massacre on a hilly trail camp you know that that was fun then we went to Mondstadt. she gave me a wind glider then all of a sudden the wind started to change it got more windier you know, and then all of a sudden, the dragon appeared. Uh, the dragon known by the people that live in Monset, Storm Terror, but I'm going to call it by its actual name, the Ballin. Then I start to panic because, you know, there's a dragon in the sky. Then I get flung up in the air by some, a wind current, and I go, way. Then, uh, you know, I'm in the sky with a dragon. I start to panic because I never thought a dragon before. Then I realize, why am I not falling down? There's a constant source of wind under me, which is provided by... Remember that person? I was talking to the dragon. Yeah, the wind was provided by that person. And their name is Venti, which is 20 in Italian. You know, the more you know. Then, you know, I, I decided to, like, shoot the dragon with these animal powers. Then the dragon kind of got mad at me and just left. And I got mad at the dragon because it left. So I slowly started to descend onto the ground. And once I hit the ground, Amber comes out of nowhere, smacks me in the face. I go flying. Then this pirate dude comes out of nowhere and he's like, you actually got the power, the power to, to go, go against, against the, the dragon. dragon. That's cool. Then uh, we went to like the main headquarters of Mondstadt. And in there, there was Jean and a librarian lisa you know that that was interesting then proceeded to do domains to get the characters Ooh, cool lightning electricity li librarian person Ooh, ice dude that can freeze people when they're in water yeah trash with a bow and arrow nice then rob the holy liar because venti be like haha you need this to like save the dragon and stuff so it's crucial that you rob this so you know rob the holy liar realized i need to be ar12 which is level 12 and you know as i was in ar going to ar12 you know stumbled upon a thing called Leoe. you know I, I didn't know what it was and wasn't sure what to do there so i kind of just got the waypoint and proceeded with my day then got the holy liar, gave it to Venti. Venti called Davalin. Davalin came out of nowhere and was like, yo, what's up, dude? 
that um, this thing with a shield called an abyss mage comes right up to Davalin's ear. Is like, dude, you don't need this. They're trying to kill you. Then uh, Davalin gets mad at us and yells at us, and he's like, dude, you trying to kill me? Dang, that that's mean. And then he flies out of there. Then uh, we chase him down to his lair. Venti breaks the shield that was blocking it. Then we go inside, and you know it's it's pretty nice. And then Paimon asks a stupid question: How do you fit through that doorway? And he flies over it. Then we see the Volin, and the Volin wants a fight. So boss fight time, and I died to this boss so many times, and that that, that was pretty sad. You know that was pretty sad. Then when I finally defeated the Volin, you know he flew us back to Mondstadt, and now he was a symbol of hope to Mondstadt. Then we returned the Holy Liar to the place that we, like, robbed it from, which was, uh, Mondstadt's church. Then as soon as Venti walks out of the door, he gets bodied by this person named Senora, and his powers kinda got taken away. And that was it for Mondstadt. But we still have Liyue and Inazuma, but you also look rather bored just watching this video, watching me just talk about my Genshin Impact experience. So let me just speedrun Liyue for you. So speedrun time. So we arrive at Liyue and there's like this shrine gathering going around with a lot of people waiting there and a dragon out of nowhere just flies from the sky and just drops dead. And Lady Ningguang, the person that was kind of originous, uh, just accuses us for killing the dragon. So we start fleeing and we get saved by this person named Child Tartaglia. Then we get um, transported to this place, a hideout place. We meet Zhongli, Zhongli very cool. Then we learn that T Tartaglia, you know, he's he's actually evil. He works for the Fatui, you know, bad, bad stuff, very bad stuff. Then we, uh, Went to the Jade Palace, it was pretty cool. Then we one punch Child, and then Child fly to the sky, and then all of a sudden, this giant water snake out of nowhere. Pretty scary, pretty intense. More scary than the Volin for some reason. So, we're on the Jade Palace, we flew over to the stinking water snake, we fight it, but then we're kind of losing. Then all of a sudden, these Adepti came out. Uh, they are probably supposed to be mentioned before, but their name is Xiao, Kaching, and Ganyu, and we're basically all fighting this giant water snake. Then Ningguang, like, brings the Jade Palace on top of the water snake, drops it, boom, boom, bam. Basically, Liyue, done. And this whole entire time, Zhongli was just chilling, drinking tea, didn't do anything about it, and also this whole time, he was basically that dragon from the beginning named Morax. Then we went to Inazuma by boat, and getting on this boat was so tedious. I, I, it's so annoying. So first, I had to jump off a cliff to get onto this boat. But before that, I had to go in this, like, stadium to get a vision, even though I don't need a vision, to, like, get on the boat, I think. I'm not so sure, because they didn't think I had elemental powers. And the people running the boat was Kazuha and Beto. So they were just watching me just beat up some dudes with a sword. It's, it was pretty interesting. Then when I got onto Inazuma, you know, uh, there was this person named Toma. Toma was pretty cool. He took me to this tea shop place where I met Ayaka. You know, Ayaka with a fan. She got ice powers. It's pretty snazzy. Then Toma was getting his vision taken away because, you know, there's something called a vision hunt degree there. And I did not say that before. Then his vision starts going away. And... You know, the person I was taking away was the Raiden Shogun. So the person that was the leader of the Vision Hunt degree was taking his vision away. Uh, I caught I caught the vision. You know, that, that was not good. The Shogun got mad. You know, we got transported to the stadium thing. We got destroyed. And I must have died to that so many times. More than the Devalin boss fight, which is even more sad. Then Toma kind of saved me. Then we kind of joined a resistant with... Uh, with a dog dude, Goro, even though there was a mermaid person kind of running the whole thing. Then we had an epic, like, war with the Vision Hunt degree. It was pretty cool. And, you know, I was kind of taking a break from the story mode. And I realized there's something I hate in this game now. It's the samurai. And they legit are, like, mini boss fights. Which, they're scary. They, they legit one-tap me. It, it's scary. Then we met this person named Yoimiya. And she made some fireworks for us, so we'll go boom, boom, distraction from uh, the vision hunt degree so we can sneak around the main area because we're apparently fugitives from taking away Toma's vision back. You know, then we meet someone named Yai Miko, you know, very cool fox lady, you know, electric power stuff, not so sure. Then we went to the Shogun, but then there was someone there. It was Senora, the same person that took Venti's powers. Then we had Senora boss fight. I, I really hated that, even though I first tried it, you know, that was pretty cool. 
And since Senora lost, you know, uh, the coolest thing I've ever seen happen, you know, the Shogun just annihilated Senora with just like one sword slash. Th that was scary. Then the Shogun spared us for winning, and then outside was the Resistance, so Kazuma, Garo, and all of them. Then all of a sudden, the Shogun appears out of nowhere and is like, Psych, you, you thought, you thought, boy. And then Kazuma saves us with his two visions, you know, like Electro and, you know, Animo. You know, it's interesting. Then, uh, you know, we go back to the stinking boss fight. I, I don't like this, you know, and then, but then this was different because Yaimiko was there and was like, yo, visions and then a bunch of visions come out of nowhere and you know it, it's just us versus the shogun and it was this epic fight and we, I, I got constant healing from these visions and it was pretty sick then after we defeated the shogun that that was it everything kind of just ended the vision hunt degree stopped and that was basically it and that was basically the whole entire story mode so far but with my stinking interpretation and experience then I got curious one day and stumbled upon a Primo Geo Bishop. You know, it was very scary. So, you know, enjoy this gameplay of me trying to struggle to kill this thing, accompanied with Hu Tao's theme. Enjoy. And that was my experience with Genshin Impact. You know, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. Hope you enjoyed.